Heartland Booksellers, this is John Denany from Penguin Young Readers. On behalf of Andrea Baird and myself, I want to thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to listen to my presentation. We have many big titles coming this fall. These are just a sample of them. Chain Sings, a children's album. This book is featured in the GLIBA Holiday Catalog, the MIBA Holiday Catalog. It has gotten so far two star reviews from both Kirkus and Publishers Weekly. It's a beautiful picture book that shows that anything is possible when we put, when we all join together. Big people and small have the power to make change. Amanda Gorman is the youngest presidential inaugural poet in U.S. history. Lauren Long is a New York Times number one best-selling illustrator and winner of past Great Late Book Awards. He has illustrated and written the Otis series for Penguin Young Readers and is the artist on such great books as Love, written by Matthew Pena, and Of The I Sing, written by President Barack Obama. Lauren won the Great Lakes Book Award in 2015 for his book Otis and in 2018 for the book Love. And don't forget the upcoming release of Amanda's poetry collection called That's What We Carry, which will be on sale December 7th, 2021. Beasts of Prey. This is a 250,000 copy print. An indentured servant who's paying off the family's debt unleashes a power she doesn't understand when a family member is threatened. She doesn't understand how it will change both the future of the world and her own existence. Anya Gray has written a great storyline, which is a blend of mythology, romance, and action. This book was part of an 11 house bidding war. Everyone wanted this book. What's fantastic is that she is a debut author. This is a new series, the backdrop of African myth and fantasy, perfect for fans of Tomi Ayame and Suba Tahir. Fantastic world building full of monsters and magic. This will definitely leave the reader anticipating the next book. Nina, the story of Nina Simone. 150,000 copy print. This book has so far gotten starred reviews from Booklist, Publishers Weekly, and Bookpage. This is a picture book depicting the extraordinary life of Nina Simone, singer and civil rights pioneer. The illustrations are done by Christian Robinson, who also illustrated such classics as Last Stop on Market Street and Camilla Full of Wishes, both written by Matthew Pena and also The Smallest Girl and The Smallest Grade, written by Justin Roberts. All books are from Penguin Young Readers. And Tracy was born in Chicago, so there is definitely a Midwest appeal. There's a Ghost in the House. This is a 100,000 copy print, a captivating and utterly unique picture book with interactive transparent pages about a girl who lives in a haunted house. Oliver Jeffers has more than Six million copies sold. Don't forget Crayons, the books he had done with Cleveland native Drew Daywalt. He is a New York Times bestselling author and illustrator. While the idea of a haunted house may sound scary at first, this is a silly and fun book for young readers, and they will love it. Think Casper the Friendly Ghost. Oliver used tracing paper throughout. As pages are turned, the ghost will appear on each page, a unique and magical reading experience. The pictures feature mixed media art. Between Shades of Grey, the graphic novel. This is a 150,000 copy print. World War II, Europe, Soviet secret police, deportation, all ingredients for an edge of your seat story. A graphic adaptation of, New of Ruta's New York Times bestselling novel, which coincidentally was turned into a movie named Ashes in the Snow. This book is a natural for the graphic novel market, and as we all know, the graphic novel market is exploding right now. The art definitely has a World War II adventure look. Ruta won the Great Lakes Book Award in 2016 for her title, Salt to the Sea, and the Heartland Book Award in 2020 for Fountains of Silence. Both are New York Times bestsellers. There is a downloadable ARC for the new novel coming in February 2022, that title is called, I Must Betray You. Jan Brett's The Nutcracker, 200,000 copy print. 
This title is featured in the MIBA Holiday Catalog. As we all know, no one does classic retellings better than Jan Brett. This is the perfect match of Jan's style with a Christmas classic. Here's a fun fact. Last December, one Jan Brett book was sold in the world every 30 seconds. If you stack all the books by Jan Brett that have been sold, they would be twice as tall as the Empire State Building and 28 times taller than the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. As usual, Jan always puts borders on each of her pages. And in this book, she has really outdone herself with the art and the borders. Additionally, Animal Santa is coming in a board book this season. Bad Pig, When Pigs Fly, 75,000 copy print. This is the story of Gary. A radioactive bat bites Gary and gives him superpowers. A story of expectations, keeping secrets, friendship, and struggles. Things all kids grapple with. This book is featured in the ABC Holiday Catalog. The perfect graphic novel full of human humor and adventure. Perfect for reluctant readers. The graphic novel market is very hot. From the author of the highly reviewed title, Wink, there is a sequel to Bat Pig coming next year. And also, Rob is a Great Lakes author and illustrator who lives in Zionsville, Indiana. The 1619 Project, Born on the Water. 250,000 copy print. This book will be featured in the GLIBA Holiday Catalog, the MIBA Holiday Catalog, and the ABC Holiday Catalog. A young student's family tree assignment in school is helped when a grandmother tells the story of how past generations were brought to this country. And it is said that people born on the water survived. This explores American identity, slavery origins, and the consequences, and the contributions of Black Americans at the center of the picture book. Author Renee Watson wrote Harlem's Little Blackbird, which received critical praise and many awards and recognitions. The lyrical text coupled with beautiful art makes this book a definite winner. Hannah Nicole Jones received a MacArthur Foundation grant, a Peabody Award, two George Polk Awards, three National Magazine Awards, and the John Chancellor Distinguished Journalism Award in 2018. This book will sell into the market that bought Anti Racist Baby and undefeated. All My Rage, a novel, 200,000 copy print. A young married couple immigrates from Pakistan to the United States, settles in California. It's a, a family story, a story of tragedy and triumph. This book was written by Saba Tahir, which, who everybody knows, is a fantastic author, this is the story that Subba always wanted to write, a story of American kids and their troubles, and it's multi-generational. This novel has elements pulled from Subba's own story. The underlying message, there is always something worth fighting for. There is a downloadable ARC available now. Subba is quoted as saying, in some ways it's my story and the story of so many like me. This book will be on sale March 1st, 2020, and is a feature in the upcoming Children's Institute. Hotel Magnifique, a 150,000 copy print. A hotel that appears in different destinations every morning gives an escape to a young girl and her sister who are working in a tannery. This is the opportunity for them to escape their present life as employees in the hotel. So begins the greatest adventure of their lives. Unfortunately, the contract they sign is unbreakable, and the hotel has a mysterious dark side. Razorbill won this book in a very hot auction. Perfect for readers of Caravel, Serpent and Dove. This is a standalone fantasy. The author lives in Minneapolis, Minnesota, so there's a definite Midwest appeal. This is a featured title at an upcoming Children's Institute and 
there is currently a downloadable ARC now available. I would like to thank all of you so much for listening to my presentation and for supporting our titles.